When designing the product, we knew that we wanted a really even heat and flow distribution across it. As a stylist, how does that help you dry my hair? The great thing about this attachment is it will definitely ramp your curls up. So whatever you have, you could have more if you want them. Or you can use it to basically just dry your hair in a natural way. The thing about a beautifully defined curl is that it's a whole bunch of hairs that are stuck together. Imperfect curls will start to look like frizz. If you just feel that, you can feel how soft and gentle that is. Now that, because this is um, so controllable, this dryer, this is on its lowest settings. It's on the lowest heat and the lowest velocity of airflow. And that is enough because you don't want to blow those curls out. The trick is to not do very much at all because it gets quite boring just kind of standing there. So you start to get all clever with your hands. You don't need to. It's giving us a very even heat distribution and it's incredible how quickly this dries. So do you usually dry the roots or the tips of the hair? The reason I'm just tipping my fingers into here a little bit is to let the air get into those roots without disturbing that curl. Where I want to take you now is upside down. I want to take your head over because what I want to do now is loosen that curl a little bit more. If I was to comb this now, that would be the worst thing I could do. But you don't want to disturb those curls too much. They're beautiful as they are. And the more I disturb them, the more frizzy they'll look. So when you come up, you must make sure that your head goes back because your roots will then set going backwards and the hair won't all be falling in your face. See these lumps of curls? That's when a curl looks beautiful, when it's all together. It's keeping those curls intact, but at the same time, it's getting in there and drying the hair. And it's this point now that you can start to arrange them how you want to, not while you're drying. That's when you know that you've got a really good heat distribution and a, and a flow distribution because you haven't blasted those curls out anywhere. It has not disturbed the natural movement and that's what you want.